Hi, my name is Ali Shirsova from Breacher Digital and in this video we're going to explain the maximum power transfer theorem in a very easy to understand way. Okay, so let us imagine that we have got a power source. For simplicity, let us just make that a battery that has got some internal resistance, which we're going to call RS, and we are trying to deliver power to our load resistance RL. I'm going to redraw that so that it looks easier to see. Here I've got RS, my source resistance, and here is my RL, my load resistance. Now, imagine that initially RL is very, very, very low. Well, let's say it's 0 0.00001, whatever, right? And I'm trying to deliver power to RL. Now, what happens is even though the current that is flowing through there is going to be big, because the value of RL is very, very, very small, the amount of power that is delivered to RL is actually quite small. If I were to plot that, it would look something like this. So this is the value of my load resistance, RL. This is the amount of power that I will deliver to it. And because that is very small, it's going to be somewhere around here. RL is small, the amount of power is small. Now, as I increase this more and more and more, the amount of power that I'm going to deliver is going to get more and more and more. Now, let us consider a case where my RL is actually very, very big. Let's say it is, I don't know, 10 million, billion, zillion, whatever. It's going to be very, very high. Now, although RL is very, very big, the current that is flowing through it is very, very small because this value is very big. So again, RL is very big, it's 10 million, billion, zillion around here, but the amount of current will be near zero. Now, as I reduce this value of RL, the amount of current is going to increase and therefore the power is going to increase. So it will get something like this. Now, you don't have to do a lot of mathematics to see that this curve is going to have to have a maxima. Um, so if we extend these, at some point this is going to become a maximum and go back down and it will look probably something like like this. And this is our maxima of the curve. And at this point is the sweetest spot of RL whereby we deliver the maximum power of amount of power to it. And as it happens, this maxima happens when RL is equal to RS. There we go. That's the uh, maximum power transfer theorem in under three minutes. Hope you enjoy the video and hope to see you in one of our workshops.